so like I said in the previous video we're going to look at uh, this issue we have at the top here in the header if I click on a different user's profile it changes there which is not what I actually want so since this is the header file we know that's where to look so let's go to the header file and it's in right in our folder let's go to header and as you can see we're using the data from user data now user data is the data we get when uh, we load the current profile okay so this since this is profile.php whatever the current profile is that's where we are getting that from so I can be sure of that if I go to profile.php and then see where we are getting the user data right here so as you have seen we are getting the user's data from whoever is logged in but then if there's an ID that is set at the top we're going to load the data from that ID so for example what's happening here is uh, if I go to my own profile here what's happening is that it's there's no uh, ID here specified in the URL so it's going to load my profile since I'm the one that's uh, logged in by default but if I go here uh, to somebody else we're going to have an, an ID at the top here so it's going to load whatever that is and put it there so the thing here is that originally we load the profile of the current user so we must find a way to preserve this data before we replace it here so once we get this data here what I want to do is save it to a different uh, variable now this one is going to be the overall user I'm going to use capital letter like that user now this variable will contain um, the user's data of the current user that is logged in so I'm going to say user is equal to user data and that's it so now even when we replace the data in here over there we still have the same data saved in there it's pretty cool so let me copy this and go to the header and replace instead of using uh, user data over here we're going to use user and down here we're going to use user all right that should cover it so let me refresh this and so we see an empty image over there so why do we see an empty image instead of a placeholder that's the question we should be asking so corner image right here is that one mm -hmm. and then we are getting this from here so we have a placeholder of course but the problem is we are not checking to see if this image actually exists because remember if we go to our table here we're going to notice that in the image section here it's actually empty for the user that we are accessing so it's supposed to be able to check that so what we can do is an, if this is set and let's put an and here and file exists right like so and there we go if that exists and the fire exists mm, do your thing now this one is the male version so for example here if I refresh now I'm I'm definitely going to get the correct thing now unfortunately I'm logged in as a female so it's supposed to know that and put the female version at the top here so how does it do that well if this is set okay even though the file does not exist we could check to see whether the user is male or female okay if we go back to the profile here we are going to say the gender where is the gender uh oh okay this is posts and not users my bad 
So we go to the users table and check the gender. There's either male or female. So that's what we have to look for. So instead of doing this, what we will do, instead of adding the and, we're just going to close this off and lower this one, like so. I'm going to put two of these, like so. Put one more at the top there, like so. Ah, went too far there. What I should have done is simply do this and lower it, and then duplicate that. So what I'm simply doing here is that, so that if this is set, we ask another question, does the file exist or not? So if the file does not exist, this is when we can check to see if we are wrong about this, because we now know that the user exists so we can compare from the user. However, if this file isn't there, we can simply assume that it's a male or you can put female if you want, that's up to you. But since this is set at this point, even though the file does not exist, we can still check to see. So we're going to copy these and say, if, since it's already set to a male, all we have to check for is if it's female. So we're going to say if user gender is equal to female, like so. So if that's true, then let's add the female version instead. So user female. And that sorts our problem out. Except we have a syntax error on line six. Yeah, I get excited with these errors. So what is the problem? Hmm. Let's see what it's saying. Complaining about unexpected bracket on line six. So this bracket is unexpected. Where is it? Oh, uh, usually it's because maybe we're missing uh, a bracket here, but this looks fine. Mm. So this bracket goes with this one. This one goes with this one. This one goes with this one. This one goes with this one. So where is our error here? I don't actually see it. Oh, all right, there we go. Fire exists. We need an if statement here. Sorry about that. Some things are uh, straightforward. We end up missing them. Okay, there we go. So we have our female version. Even when we click to go to somebody else's, we still have our uh, profile peak up there and everything looks good. All right, so let's uh, move to another video and do something to improve our website. So probably we're going to look at the like button so that now we can start liking posts, etc., etc. See you then.